so you're looking for Florida native plant landscaping ideas, well, you're in the perfect place because we're going to be taking this area from invasive plant to native plants. And the next plant we're going to talk about, it's got to be the swamp milkweed. <laughs> So let's talk about swamp milkweed, which is just one of 26 native milkweeds for the state of Florida. There are all different types and they grow in different conditions, but this one is native to my area, which is why I picked it. And you can see it is already growing so tall, which isn't what I've had with most of my milkweeds because usually the caterpillars have eaten them down so fast. But you can see it's kind of got that leggy look and uh, yeah not very bushy. So these get about two to three feet tall, which you can see it kind of is already there, but you can see there's a lot of stem and not a lot of leaves. So if you're looking for a bushy look, not really the plant for it, but this is going to be great as we do that layered look of all those different plants that this can pop up and through. And what's cool is because we're going to intermix it with other plants is that it's going to provide protection for the caterpillars as they're making their way up and down the stem so that the birds that I'm also bringing into the area maybe can let some survive, which would be a good thing. Because yay for the butterflies. Milkweed is, loves the sun. Love, 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 love the sun. So what we're gonna do is when we put it in the ground, we're gonna pull it away from the house so that it's one of the plants that gets semi-shade later in the day and gets a lot more sun but I still want it to be interspersed among some of the other plants because I want to provide that protection for my caterpillars. Um, who we want because, hello, one of the best way to get butterflies in your yard is not just to put native plants in your yard, but put host plants for their caterpillars. So they can put the eggs on it, the caterpillars can eat away, and then you can have new butterflies and they're all coming from your yard. a drought tolerant yes and no right it doesn't want to be drought all year it is swamp milkweed but the native cycle of our land is to be rainy for half of the year and kind of dry for the other half so it can tolerate drought just not forever so it does need to have access to water for a good amount of the year and it wants its roots to be a little bit mucky and swampy And this plant, it is the host of three different types of butterflies. It's going to be the host of the monarch, the queen, and the soldier butterfly. And you're probably wondering, so what's the difference? And how will I know? I'm gonna tell you all the butterflies and the caterpillars look very similar, but they are a little bit different. I've typically only gotten monarch butterflies on mine so far, but you may be lucky you could get a queen or a soldier and it just adds a little bit more diversity and they all like milkweed. And it doesn't matter which type of milkweed, swamp milkweed and all the other different types that are native to the state will do great for all of those. And when it comes to the flowers on this plant, so yes, this is one of those plants that's great for butterflies because they plant their eggs, it's got the caterpillars and then eventually it blooms and then they've got nectar for themselves also. So it creates food even throughout their whole life cycle. Now I haven't gotten a chance to see swamp milkweed flowers outside of pictures because my caterpillars keep eating it down over and over again, which is okay. Honestly, if you're gonna get this plant, put it with other plants. It never really has a very attractive look just by itself because it fills out, it looks nice, and then caterpillars eat it down, and then it fills out, and then it gets eaten down again. So just know that, put it with other fun plants that look pretty, and then you won't worry the fact that it like gets a little, you know, this and then it doesn't look like this. Then it just looks like sticks for a while. So you may be wondering, do I ever need to prune this plant? Not really, the caterpillars will self prune it pretty regularly, so. You got a natural pruning system built right in. Cool for that, huh? So now that we've got the butterflies and the caterpillars in there, we need some more pollinating plants and ones that are gonna grow a little bit lower. So after this plant, we're gonna talk about scorpion tail. And to make sure you don't miss that, go ahead and like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. New videos each week on Friday and sometimes a bonus on Sunday. I'll see you soon. Bye.